Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we are closing our pool, which it does seem kind of strange because it feels like we just opened our pool, but um, here in Canada, we have to close the pool for the season uh, when winter's on its way. So that's what we're doing today. We're also closing our patio. You guys will see that too. If you don't live somewhere where you have to deal with winters, uh, all this stuff has to go into storage because the snow and everything can ruin your furniture. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. So this process started yesterday. We cleaned the filter and the pump basket and we added in super shock. 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 Yeah, just a super chlorinated just overnight. Just super chlorinated overnight. Oh, and we started running our pool vacuum just to make sure there's no debris at the, on the floor. You want it as clean as possible before closing. If you guys watched our pool cleaning video last year, our pool was full of leaves by this time. I think that this is like similar to the time of year last year when we were closing the pool. 17. The 17th? And today's the 12th? 13th. 13th. Yeah. Friday the 13th. Fri oh my gosh, it's Friday the 15th? It is. Well, you guys are seeing this on Sunday, so I guess that this is similar to what we when we were closing it last year, but last year at this time, our pool was totally full of leaves by now. It was like two days ago. We cleaned it. Oh. You're gonna scrub the water line just to make sure that there's no scum or anything there, and then you're gonna switch the brush over to the net, and you're gonna sweep out the rest of the leaves, and then we're gonna start adding the rest of the chemicals. Okay, cleaning the scum. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. Okay, done. So unfortunately this year, we really didn't use our pool that much. I think for August, we were in it like a handful of times. The last time we actually swam was Labor Day in September. But I think it's because we bought the hot tub this year. We just were enjoying the hot tub and didn't get much pool time. What? This is a sharp metal object you need to put on a sensitive cover. It doesn't go well. This is what we're using, the opening and closing kit. Um, it just has all your pool chemicals that you need to close it. So that's what we're gonna do. It's got your three chemicals. It's got your stain and scale, which avoids staining of your liner over the winter. Aldicide, which reduces the risk of algae in your pool. And oxidizer, which kills the organic matter. <laughs> it's the same thing that you use for opening and closing. It's just three things you put in. I don't know if it's 100% necessary. Like I think your pool is gonna have a little bit of green to it no matter what. We were told to do it, so we don't know a lot about pools, so we do it. This video is going to be a mess. Oh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to add is the stain and scale. And immediately, immediately after that, we're going to put the algicide in. And then about two hours before we turn our pump off, you want to dump in the oxidizer. So what I do is I usually take the cap off. There's a little metal protector there. I just poke a hole and I walk around and squirt it in. So the instructions for closing are different than opening. We have to wait four hours before adding our next chemical in. So we're gonna start putting all our patio furniture and everything away. Feels a lot heavier than I remember. Okay. Not so bad. That's good. Oh, if you guys have questions about the stuff that you're seeing in this video, I'll just link everything in the description. Like the furniture sets, if you guys want the details on it. We also have a full backyard tour if you haven't seen that. We get a lot of questions about doing a tour. We'll do a house tour eventually when the house is all done, but the backyard tour is already up. So I'll put that in the description too.
So some of you might remember the video where we set up our outdoor projector so we could do outdoor movie nights out here. The truth of the matter is the earwigs were so bad this year that we did it one time. We only got to sit out for one movie and we were covered in earwigs. They just totally ruined it. And now we're having an issue. Aki, don't eat the bug. Um, now we're having an issue with the little stink bugs that are everywhere. Um, still clearly earwigs. And those just look like flies that have like made a home underneath our rug. So the bugs ruining, ruining everything. Four hours later, we're ready to add our oxidizer. It says uh, shock treatment for swimming pool. It's actually, it is a shock, but it's non-chlorine shock. It just kind of destroys the any algae or organic matters that are still in the pool water after cleaning. Followed by that, we'll add the bottle of algicide, let the pool water run for a little bit, and then start taking the water out. Algicide, 40% liquid algicide. I think I'm gonna dilute it in some water in a pail and then we'll dump it all in. Why? Because that way it mixes better. If you just dump this in, it's just gonna float around in the water. See how thick it is? It's like sticky. It's really not that serious. It was not that serious. Any of this. It seems serious and like so complicated, it's really not. Uh, tell that to the professional pool closers in our comment section. It's not that serious. You could literally not even put any of these in, just dump some liquid chlorine, put your cover in it, and it would look the same. Is that true? I think so. Would it stay over the winter though? Stay what? Like, would it wouldn't freeze? No, like you, you have to drain it still. We haven't done that part, but this part with this stuff, I yeah. think is just a baloney, to oh. be honest. Because like a pool company that comes to close your pool, They'll literally come, open this, dump it, dump it, dump it, start draining your pool, plug your lines and done, walk away. They're done in like two hours, they close a the pool. So how does this say it's supposed to take eight hours? Give me the mic, I you're done. All a bunch of liars. He's off the mic now, he's getting carried away. So now we have to wait eight hours before we're supposed to add the next thing, but I want to show you guys. This is my pineapple plant. I haven't given a pineapple update in a long while but it, I left it outside all summer long. This is how big it's gotten. I do need to trim some of the dead parts because the dogs walk past it, so it was like breaking off the leaves. Um, so still no pineapple. Actually nothing at all happening on the inside, just more leaves growing. But um, if you're new, this pineapple plant was from a grocery store pineapple I planted in January, 2020. I want to say it was, and uh, now it's October 2023. It could take up to five years. I've had many of you tell me, so still no pineapple, just in case you were wondering, but this is what it looks like by now. Doggy ASMR. So we were gonna power wash the concrete to give it a good clean, although I don't know if there's much hope in saving this. If you guys saw our backyard tour video um, from the summer, we talked a little bit about the concrete and how that was the biggest mistake we made when <laughs> restoring the pool, was putting the concrete around the pool because we went with a dark color. It gets very hot. It's very slippery. We've had little kids fall on it and it just now, by now it doesn't look good. It only looks good pretty much the day after you seal it and then it like gets dirty so fast because it's dark. The soil's really sandy around here. So like all these little grooves just fill with dirt. It just looks awful. So we've been talking about what we want to do. Oh, there's a bee. Soft crete is an option. It's like a rubber surfacing that goes over top of this. You have to scuff it up really good and then they pour it over top and it, um, some of you might know it. It's the same sort of stuff that you, they use at like kids' playgrounds nowadays. So if kids fall, it doesn't hurt. It's like really soft and it looks fantastic around pools. So maybe we need to get a price for that because this is just... If we did that, I would extend it to where that lava rock is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also so funny to look back on this pool from what it was when we first restored it. That's probably where most of you guys are from. Our pool renovation is what we're most known for uh, because last year, the one year recap of it went super viral on everything. 
So um, we got a lot of new followers, so that's maybe where you guys are from. It's just crazy to think that this was once just a, like, <laughs> death trap, basically. We always get asked about it when we bought the house. Did we know there was a pool under it? We did know there was a pool under it, but we didn't know the state of the pool. We wouldn't know if it was even salvageable until we took that deck off of it. Um, the last owner had built a deck on it instead of closing it properly. Uh, so that was really fun. And this pool actually used to be in like an enclosure too, which we learned from speaking with neighbors and things like that, is there used to be uh, an enclosure that ran the whole length of the pool and then it came up over top. It was made of like um, corrugated plastic or something like that. Anyways, it's just crazy to think of how far this pool has come. And if you have no idea at all what I'm talking about, I will put that video in the description too, because uh, we restored it as a summer project in summer 2021. It took us just over a month to do, but we could have been done it in probably two weeks if we weren't waiting on the liner and uh, there was something else we were waiting on at the time, maybe equipment, because we had to change all that out too. We could have had it done faster than a month, but just in case you had questions about the pool, if you guys have other questions about the pool, you guys can leave them in the comments. Um, but we have another video where we do answer pool questions. Uh, but if, if you want to know anything about it, you can comment it in this video. We're back from the store. We just came and grabbed some tarps. So we're going to tarp up our furniture. But before that, um, we're going to vac, are you vacuuming out the pool or what are you doing? So Oh yeah, okay, okay. We gotta drain the pool below the jet. So Andrew's just hooking up the vacuum so that we can suck out the water. Yeah, we don't have a main drain. We don't have a main drain. Anything else you want me to say? Uh, nope, not yet. Okay, here's that process. Okay, we're good. So I have the vacuum hose and everything hooked up. I've turned the valve on the pump and filter to kind of backwash it's a cartridge filter so there is no backwash so I have a bypass valve so water is not coming back into the pool because we need to drain it below the jets and while it's running I'll vacuum a little bit just to clean up whatever debris and little bits I see in the bottom because you want it as clean as possible when you're closing here's what's going on behind the scenes as the water drains through that little tube there, draining out into the lawn. Yeah, do you want it? Here, I'll leave you to tie it. Andrew was a scout before he became a man. It was a boy scout. You were, you actually were a boy scout. Chief scout, if you couldn't tell by all his skills. Disconnect all our equipment. Let some water drain out of there. All the electricity has been turned off. Make this another clean. So just go nice and easy. You don't want to cross thread it and there's because there's, there's tape on there too, right? There's water sitting in the skimmer, so I'm gonna use the shop vac to suck it all out. Get more spray up. Okay, that's perfect then, you're good.
That's good. I'll take it and then you can screw this on nice and carefully. And we'll just dump a couple little a couple more inches in there just so when the water goes in, it doesn't freeze. Just walk it across. Hi guys. We got a little busy yesterday closing up the pool, so we got the cover on and everything. It's another um, beautifully rainy day. Good thing we did it yesterday. Some of you guys might have questions about the pool cover that we have. This one is by Pool Supply Canada. It's one of the mesh safety covers. Yeah. It's good to keep the dogs from walking on it, but there's nicer ones out there if you guys are interested in an actual like hard, heavy duty safety cover. The nice thing is the first year we had a tarp and all the water and leaves collect on the top. You got to clean it out and everything. And then once you open your pool, like take the, the tarp off, you have to fill it with water. This one, the water goes right through. So this year when we opened was our first year with this cover and we didn't have to add any water at all. It was already filled up enough and it was easy. What? Do I have something on my face? On the, your left side i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video again if you guys are interested in more pool content or outdoor projects we have a lot of videos on our page you can check out we'll see you next sunday bye bye